Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited that you joined me here again today. How are you doing? I hope you had an amazing week. Today I'll be bringing you another exciting episode of In The News videos. And as always, I enjoy doing research. If you have any topic requests, please definitely add in the comment section below. article that I'd like to share with you today is titled Why Women Stay Out of the Spotlight at Work. In our day-to-day -day professional lives, we face different challenges and different things that stop us from either enjoying the spotlight when it's on us or putting ourselves in the spotlight when we need to be. I will add the information about this article in the description box so you can check it out and learn for yourself. The source of the article is Habit Business Review and they're not paying me for this advertisement but they have a lot of great articles about women and about our experiences in the workplace. I will share some of the insights that I took from reading this article as well. I'll also share three action items that I think you can do to make it more applicable in your life. I'd like to read the first paragraph directly from the article because I think it captures a lot of the great wisdom that is shared in the subsequent paragraphs. It says, To get ahead in the workplace, you have to be seen. Being visible at work allows employees to demonstrate their skills, land prominent assignments, and build their strategic relationships. I just want to take a pause there. Why is it important for us to be in the spotlight? It is important for us to be in the spotlight because number one, people need to see the great work that you're doing. You put in so much time and so much effort, but if it's not seen, it's not really worth it. The second reason you should be in the spotlight is when you're in the spotlight, people tend to know you and you will be given those desirable assignments. If people don't know you or don't know your work, it's very hard for them to give you bigger and greater assignments. The third reason that you should be in the spotlight is that it helps you build relationships. Especially as you rise in your career, having strategic relationships in your workplace is very important. The first reason that they outline is avoiding backlash at work. A lot of women do not want to be in the spotlight because, because they don't want to deal with the negative repercussions of being in the spotlight. You might get negative experiences. Don't let this stop you from putting yourself in the spotlight because the benefits outweigh the negative experiences. The second reason is finding professional authenticity. A lot of the women that I spoke to felt that being visible felt inauthentic and out of character. And this has many, many reasons, especially if we think of ourselves. Why don't we want to be in the spotlight? Is it because we've never seen women like us be in the spotlight? Is it you staying out of the spotlight because you don't feel like it's real, because you feel like it's acting, you feel like it's wrong, it just doesn't feel pure, it just doesn't feel right? There are many women like you who feel like being in the spotlight at work does not feel natural. I I want you to think about authentic ways that you can put yourself in the spotlight. Well, an authentic way that I like to talk about my work is to talk about the work that I'm most proud of or the team that I loved working with. It, it helps me feel more connected to my achievements. The third reason shared here was parenthood struggles. As they spoke to women, most of them felt that staying invisible at work gave them more time and energy to fulfill obligations at home. When you think about being in the spotlight, you probably think of getting more work because everybody sees you and you've been doing amazing and you do not want more work if you have a second job at home as a mom. Think about it this way, when you're in the spotlight, you could potentially be doing more meaningful work that will make you feel more fulfilled and prob probably provide more satisfaction for you while you're at your job and you can take the happy feelings while you're a mom. As with everything at work, we know that there's an aspect that the organization has to bring to the table. We know that a lot of organizations still have a lot of room to grow, but what I want to encourage you to do is to do the work that you can do while your organization either catches up or while you go to another organization. What do you think about being in the spotlight? Is it something that you enjoy? Is it something that you shy away from? Please share your experience. I want to know how it is for you. In the spirit of taking action, the three things that I'd like you to do are number one, number one, find out why you don't enjoy being in the spotlight. 
the more we learn about our motivations or the things that are holding us back, the better we can address them. One thing that I want to encourage you to do is to identify those opportunities where you could be in the spotlight. Where, how can you plan to get recognition for work that you've done or work that you're doing? The third thing that I'd like you to do is to encourage another woman to be in the spotlight. If she's struggling, encourage her. Tell her why you think she deserves to be in the spotlight. It is time for us to be in the spotlight and enjoy being in the spotlight. But before I go, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, add your comments in the comment section below, and share this video with every amazing woman around you. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.